Welcome back, guys. You ready for some more Kerbal fun? Oh, yeah. Well, in this episode, we're going to be um, a little bit sneaky, and we're going to do some kind of interesting things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pop into Mission Control and see what contracts we've got on offer. Right. We have got um, a couple of um, ferry trips, which they're... they're not fantastic for cash and right now we want to we want to get our cash up um, so that we can upgrade some of our facilities so uh, what could we do that's going to bring in some cash well this visual surveys of Kerbin is actually a pretty good one you get a 30,000 cash advance plus 53 plus 7,200 7,200 and 8,800 so we're we're looking at over a hundred thousand for this for this one contract, so this is the one that we're going to do. Lovely. Oh, yeah. But in order to do this, we're going to need a fairly sophisticated plane. So we're going to have to upgrade our air uh, our uh, space plane hangar. Now that's going to cost two hundred and twenty-five thousand. We've only got two hundred and thirty-two. So we're going to pull a sneaky little trick now. I'm going to take the contract for exploring the moon. Now we're going to go and do this, but it gives us a cash advance of 72,000. So if we take that now, ho 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 ho, suddenly we've got 305 to spend. Excellent. Right, thank you Gene. We'll uh, we'll catch you in a little while. Okay. What are we going to do now? Right, um the, there's one thing we'll we'll do first. We'll pop into the into the tracking station because there's um, a couple of things I want to show you in here. So first of all, the tracking station is now showing us the locations that we've got to go to, and there are there are there are actually three. Let's have a look. Two of them are very very close together. Now those two we've actually got to land at. This one we've got to get up to 18, almost 18, 18.3 thousand meters and uh, do a crew report these we've got an EVA on the ground so this is going to be tricky we've got to we've got to do a rocket burn get up to 18,000 and then come down here and land at these two sites ho 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 it's going to be a little bit tricky isn't it now while I'm here there's, there's a couple of pieces of debris showing up up here so let's go around and we'll retrieve these these are bits of um, one of our earlier remember that little crash that I had a couple of pieces broke off right so we'll recover this yeah this will give us a little bit of cash back we'll recover that one as well there we go right that's got rid of the debris now I'm also going to turn on our flags so that we can see where we are now we are oh here's our flags we are here and we have got to go it's like almost to the other side of the planet so this is going to be a long flight but don't worry i'm going to edit out the um, the the dull bits where it's just flying but it's going to take a fair old while to get there so we're going to need um, quite an interesting plane that's going to get us there get up to 18 and 18 and a half thousand meters and then get down and land here right let's uh, let's go and build it shall we Okay, so uh, before we build it, we're going to pop into R&D because there's one thing that I want to pick up and that is, ah, here we go, aerodynamics because aerodynamics is going to give us this piece, the circular intake and that's going to improve our jet engines. So let's take that. It also gives us a whole bunch of aerodynamic parts that we'll be using in the future. So it's a good investment. Right, that's that. Next we're going to go over to our aircraft hangar and we're going to upgrade it but we're going to have to get rid of this flag first so let's uh, let's recover that and now we can upgrade this 225,000 we've got 315 so we'll have 90,000 left upgrade that oh I can't wait to see that in the daylight now I would love to upgrade the runway as well but we don't have enough cash at the moment so We'll have to live with what we've got. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go build a space plane. Da, 
Okay. Now, what we're going to use is um, our, our first space plane as a base. So I'm going to load up Bonehead Space Plane Mark 1. Let's load that up. Here we go. Now, I've actually stripped this down. I've taken the parachutes off it. But otherwise, this is the same model that we used before. Exactly the same. Sexy little beast, isn't it? Right, now, first thing first, those, um, those circular intakes, they're going to allow us to swap four parts out for just two. So these air intakes we can get rid of, and we can get rid of these. Which are just, they're just aerodynamic parts, they don't really serve any purpose. We can now equip X, turn on mirror mode, and we can equip those and now oh yeah we've just taken a, a technological step forward now we could ditch this um, this science lab but you know what i like to take every opportunity to get every bit of science i can so we're going to kit ourselves out with a bit of science and maybe we'll land in a biome like the mountains or something where we can uh, where we can get some extra science so science We'll take um, a couple of two hot thermometers and we'll take a couple of barometers and a couple of mystery goose, of course. That's there. There we go. So we can collect a bunch of science. Now, the next thing we've got to do is make sure that we can land this with parachutes. Now, if I could, if I could land, if it was really flat terrain, then I could just land and then we could EVA, take off, land at the next one, and it'll be all hunky-dory. But we may have to parachute in, so we're gonna kit ourselves out with loads of parachutes. Uh, oh, you know what, before I do that, because I'm gonna forget if I don't otherwise, because we've got an EVA on the ground, we're gonna have to be able to get back into our aircraft. So we're gonna need some ladders. Let's go to utility, which is where the parachutes are anyway. And we'll take this um, Pegasus 1 Mobility Enhancer, and I'm just going to put it down here. Now, which way, which way around it? Oh, there we go. So, I'm going to put it about there. I'm trying to make sure that it, there's enough space for him to actually jump up and down here without hitting this wing. Yeah, that should be okay. So, let's take another one of those, Alt key and we'll pop another one immediately above it. So he can jump on and grab this and then scoot up here. Now, because we want to be nice and aerodynamic, we've doubled it up on both sides. Not because we need it on both sides, but the plane will fly better if it's, uh, if it's perfectly symmetric. Okay, now, parachutes. Now, I'm gonna recommend that you empty out these central tanks. Uh, because w when we parachute in, it's going to be after our rocket burn. And our rocket burn is going to change our center of gravity. And we want to come down relatively flat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to empty these out. This one, and this one, and this one. Right. Then I'm going to check these tanks. Um... You know what, I'm going to keep that as it is, but I'm going to add some fuel into these tanks here, right? But I want to check the center of gravity as it's going to be when we get there, so I'm actually going to take some, some fuel out of that. In fact, I'm going to take a bit more out. Right, so we're, I'm guessing, even a bit more, I'm guessing we're going to be maybe something like that by the time we get there. And that is a, that is a bit of a guess. I, we may actually use up a bit more fuel than that, but we'll see, we'll see when we get there. But we've, we've now got a fairly good appro approximation of where our center of uh, mass is gonna be. Right, let's check our lift. You're up right, so when we've burned off that fuel, our center of lift is still gonna be just behind our center of gravity, so we're still gonna be able to fly the plane, which is a good thing. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of that center of lift now. And we're going to pop some parachutes on. And I'm going to go, I think, with six. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 
two, like pretty much bang on the center of gravity. Center of mass. I keep saying center of gravity, of course it's center of mass. Then I'm going to pop another two in front, about there. And then I'm going to pop yet another two further back. And I'm, I'm just trying to get it the same distance that, that these are forward. So hopefully we should be... And I'm actually going to bring it slightly forward because I want the front up. I'd rather be coming down tail first than front first. So that's about even. Just a touch forward. There we go. Right. That... I'm hoping that's going to bring us down really nice and smooth. Alrighty, uh, is there anything else I need to do? Uh, I need to top up my fuel. So we'll top up our fuel to about there. Uh, we'll leave that one as is. We'll top up all of our uh, oxidizer and liquid fuel in these tanks. This one. Right, now we need to check our staging. I've got my science, I've got my ladders, I've got my parachutes, I've got my fuel. Yeah, we're looking good. Uh, so now I need to check my staging. So we want our jet engines to fire first. Then we're going to do uh, a burn with our rocket engine. And then we're going to fire all of our parachutes. Maybe. We, we may not have to. But... Okay. Right, we're all set, guys. That's it. I'm going to uh, change this to Bonehead Space Plane Mark II and save it. And we're going to head off to the runway. Okay, it is a nighttime launch. But um, that's actually a good thing because we're going over to the other side of the planet. And by the time we get there, uh, it'll be daytime over there. So we will switch on SAS, we'll crank up our thrusters to max, we'll pop our brakes on, we're going to do a proper, proper takeoff this time, and spin up the engines, take off the brakes, try and keep it central on the runway, and let's get this baby in the air. A nice puff of dust and up we go level right nice gentle takeoff okay now how are we going to navigate to uh, to to our target now if you remember the last time we did a uh, a flying mission we only had to go a, a very short distance and because it was so close it was very easy to visually navigate but going to the other side of the planet, you know, we need a proper navigation system. So we go to map mode and we see our, our target icons. This is the one we're going to go to first, which is called uh, Llewellyn's Legend. And if we click on that, it'll give us the op op an option to activate navigation. Right? Navigation set to Llewellyn's Legend. Excellent. Right, go back. And ah, there it is. There's the icon, and it's the same icon that's on. Um, let me show you. It's the same icon that's on there. See, they all have different little icons. So we want to just uh, execute a little turn. Where are we? We're up at um, 3,000 meters already. So I'm just going to execute a little turn. Just roll it over. Pull the nose up a little bit to turn us. Just to bring us in line, and then we'll roll it back. Pick the nose up a touch. There we go. Right, now, pretty much, it's a case of switch to autopilot. So, I'm just going to let this go. I'm going to take this up to three times warp. I don't recommend taking it up to four. 
that things can get out of hand very, very quickly. But you should be pretty safe on, on three. Just remember to take it off if you have to make any adjustments. And that's pretty much it now, guys. It's just a case of um, get there, which is going to take a fair old while. We are three minutes 50 into our flight. I will come back and give you updates on the way. So I'll see you in a little while. Okay, I had to show you this because um, I do love the visuals in this game. And we're up at 8,000 meters and we're just starting to see the sunrise coming up. So I, I just thought I'd show you that because I think that's I think that's very pretty. I'll give um, I'll give you another update when uh, when the sun gets a bit higher. Okay, guys, we're just over f uh, what we're 15 and a half, almost 16 minutes into the flight, and there's sunrise. Oh, I timed that perfectly. There is the sun coming up. Oh, boom! God, I love it happening here. And uh, it's going to start getting light now. We'll be able to see what the hell we're doing rather than flying in the in the dark. Um, other than that, not a lot to say. We're just we're just carrying on. I'm keeping it around seven eight thousand meters. Uh, we're traveling at almost two hundred and fifty meters per second. And let me show you where we are. We're, so we started over here at the Kerbal Space Center. We are probably, what, what would you say, a third of the way there. So this is going to be like a 45 minute flight to, uh, to get over to, to here. So there you go, right? Back to autopilot, see you in a second. Okay, we're now 20, just what, just 25 minutes into our flight. And we're just flying over this island, which um, I thought I would show you. Like, well, I mean, I say little island, it's not a little island, it's quite a big island. But uh, interesting, interesting terrain. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's just take a little look at, uh, at where we are on the map. We are, I'm, I'm going to say we're about halfway now, and let's see if you can see, you can see, so yeah, you see, it, it is quite a big island that we're going over. Okay, right, uh, back to autopilot. Okay, so we're uh, 40 minutes into the flight now, and we're over the, uh, we're over the continent now. Have a quick look at the map. Show you where we are. So, yeah, we're we're getting fairly close to our target now. We're coming up to these mountains. We've uh, that was the island that we passed. We've come across the coast, but we've still got a little way to go until we do our burn. I'm thinking we're probably going to do our burn. How are we how are we looking? Might need to do a tiny course correction when we get a bit closer. I'm thinking we're probably going to do our burn like around. Here maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'll judge it when I'll judge it when we get a bit closer. So um, yeah, we still got a few more minutes of flight. Right now we're just coming up to some mountains, which is uh, potentially an opportunity to pick up some uh, some science. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until we're just coming up to the mountains. Now I'm going to take the warp off. Right, and I'm going to see if we can get some science. So, observe the materials bay. Uh, no, nothing for that. Reset that. We'll try a two heart thermometer. Yeah, 5.6 for that over the mountains. We'll try a barometer. Nope, nothing for that. What about the mystery goo? No, nothing for that. So we just got some, uh, some something from the two hot. We'll reset these two. And how are we doing? We must be getting fairly close, but I think we're a bit off. We're a bit off target. So I think we need a course correction. Now, where 
Where's my... Now that looks... See, that looks pretty bang on to me. But we're not seeing that icon. But I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust my instincts on this one. I want to make sure that I'm going absolutely bang over it. Okay, right. I think it is time for our burn, guys. So let's pull our nose up. Get it up to about 20, 25 degrees, maybe. It's not that, that much. Let's kick in our rocket motor. Here we go. Oh, we're entering it now. Right, let's pull back on the stick. Once I get up to the right height, I can always turn around if I really need to. Fifteen. Let's check the tanks. That one's empty. We're on to the last one. Sixteen thousand. We're going to be ready to do a crew report as soon as we get past eighteen three. One, two, three. Crew report. Now let's check our contract. Yes, take a crew report in flight above 18.3 near uh, Llewellyn's Legend. Woohoo! We did it. We did it. We got the first part done. Man, I, was, I must admit, I was kind of, a, you know, a little bit concerned about that. Right, I'm going to push this forward now. Our... Uh, Jet engines have flamed out. We want to make sure that we keep our speed up so that we don't stall out. So I'm just going to push this into a bit of a dive, keep our speed up. Try and stay level. And when we get down to, I'm thinking about, round about 15,000 meters, our, uh, our jet engines will kick in. There we go. Excellent. Right, now we can think about pulling up. And I think what we'll do is um, we'll actually throttle back a little bit. We want to lose some altitude. So, whoa, next target. Right, let's pull this baby up. Quite happy flying at around eight, nine thousand meters. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. So next, <laughs> right? Let's pick one of these. So let's pick, uh, yeah, whatever this is. Activate navigation. Right. So we're going to have a nice little turn here. So we'll just roll it over. Just ease back on the stick. Bring that around and there's our icon. So we know how far around we've got to go. To about there. Just level her off. Whoops. Well, man, I've been heavy-handed. Right. <laughs> now, the question is, can we actually land near this site? And it's going to kind of depend on uh, what the terrain looks like uh, as we get closer to the site. You know, we're pretty close. We're at uh, 3,000. You know, I, I'm going to... 
I'm going to cut the power and I'm going to get ready to touch down I think so let's uh, go into a little bit of a dive keep it level let's lose some of this altitude we're losing speed at the same time which is kind of beautiful oh, I'm very pleased with this terrain nice and flat this sh we sh this should be very very doable guys Maybe I were to do this without using the uh, the parachutes, which would be very nice. Right, I'm just going to pop up a little bit of power. Like, just in case. <laughs> and... Let's get, let's get a little bit lower, because um, if we come onto this... Uh, this site we we'll want to touch down pretty quickly right we're we've gone past it so we want to turn around and come in again but that's kind of okay so I'm gonna turn it over and pull it right round until we see an icon there it is and then we'll flatten it out okay right we're on target I'm gonna cut the power we're at uh, a thousand meters I'm just looking for the message of us entering the uh, the site I want to be down around 500 meters is a good place I'm actually going to give a little bit of power pull the nose up a little bit more power and I'll cut the power now I'm just waiting to uh, enter the site now. Well, we're 70 meters per second. That's a little bit on the quick side. But we're going uphill, which is going to naturally slow us down. And the site's actually over there. When we slow down a touch more, you know what? I'm going to hit the brakes, slow us down, and then I'm going to turn. Where are we? 40 get down to about 20 meters per second I'll start to uh, turn maybe a little bit before that here we go all right let's keep us heading towards that icon there we go that's that's pretty much bang on right have a little bit of power just keep us moving and come on we must be we must be pretty damn close to it now 40 meters per second I don't want to go too much for quicker than that. Come on, where's the... Mi oh, here we go. Right, hit the brakes. Come on, slow down. Slow down. We're at 45 metres per second. Oh, I haven't got the brakes on, that's why. <laughs> Dole. Slow down before we leave the site. They're not very big, these sites. 30 metres per second. 20... No leaving site message. And, oh, we're leaving the site. <laughs> okay, you know what? All we need to do, if we take the brakes off and just roll back a little bit. Oh, which way are we going? Oh, we're, oh, we're, coming, we're coming downhill. Uh, so, you know what? We need to turn around. And I'm going to use the slope to, give me, to get me started. A uh, little bit of power. Oh man, we missed it by like, I don't know, 50 meters or something. Let's just turn it around here. You are entering the site. Pop the brakes on, cut the power. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh man, that was so close. Right, 
let's get uh, let's get an EVA going, and let's now if I if I do it there, it's just to see if I do it while I'm on top of the plane. Yes, collecting survey data for site OJH um, four beta. Right, keep that. Excellent. Does a Jeb look pleased with himself? He's got the first one. Right, let's get back on board. Right, cool. We're back on board. So now we can go and get the uh, the final one. So let's go to the map. We'll set navigation. Oops. And then we'll jump back in here. And we'll take the brakes off. We'll have a little bit of power to get us moving. And slow it down a bit. Right, let's um, spin round until we've... Now, I, uh, which direction shall we go? This guy. Oh, here it is. Here's the icon. Should be pretty close, I think. Come on. Come on. Where's this site? It can't be that far. Now, the, the icon's a little bit over there, so we'll follow it round. Try and stay bang on it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's put the brakes on. Lock the brakes. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Oh, see, I was going a bit fast. Stop it, don't leave, don't leave. And we've stopped, right. EVA. Oh, this, is, this has gone beautifully, guys. This has gone beautifully. Right, EVA report. There we go. Yes, collecting survey data for OJHA Alpha. Right, and I think um, we're going to plant a flag because I want to show you um, uh, another little trick. So let's move him over here. We'll plant a flag. Come on, they're very slow with these flags, aren't they? Come on, get it going. Here we go, come on. Right, so this is um, site O. J H four Alpha. Excellent stuff. So we've planted our flag. Now I'll show you a little, little trick. Now these ladders sometimes um, uh, you'll have problems with your ladders. If you do, there is an alternative. Now the best place for me to do this is on the other side because the, the ground's sloping this way. If I go, if I walk him over to the opposite side of the plane, oh, get past the flag. There we go. I love the way they waddle, waddle along. Reminds me of a certain nanny, I have to say, at the moment. Right, so we get round to here. Get him fair, fair. Uh, that's a little bit, probably a little bit too close. I think he's going to bump into it. But spacebar and F. Oh, almost, almost. Stand up. Spacebar F. Oh. No. A little bit closer. Spacebar F. Yes. And he'll climb onto the wing. So just in case you're, uh, you're, you're having a problem with your ladders, you can try climbing onto your front wings. So let's get over here. I we'll have to climb up here again. There we go. Good job, Jeb. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Get back. Get on board. Uh, we'll dump that because we're not getting any science from that experiment anyway. And that's it. Now, I could fly it back if I wanted to. And if I flew it back, I'd actually get more cash back from the recovery. But um, you know what? I can't be bothered. It's like 45 minutes to fly back. So we're going to recover vessel. And here we are. And we picked up 11.2 uh, science, which is a nice little bonus. And uh, we got... That's the science. Uh, we recovered the parts, obviously. Uh, didn't get anything from, from, the, from the crew, but that's cool. And if we go over here, here's our contracts that we've done. And uh, we've uh, performed the visual surveys of Kerbin. 53,000 for that. Whoops. Come back, come back. Thank you. 53,000 for that one. 7,200 for that one. Plus three science, plus three reputation. 7,200, 8,800, and we're back up 
to 155,000, having upgraded. Um, uh, what did we upgrade? What was it? Yeah, we were uh, having upgraded the space plane hangar, right? So we can now build complicated space planes, and we're already back up to 155, and that's going to come in. That's going to pay dividends. That investment in the space plane hangar coming forward. We already know that we can get to uh, the moon. And we've already got a ton of science that we can spend to get us stuff from, uh, from R&D to help us get to Minimus. So there are contracts that we're going to be able to fulfill. But this, uh, this space plane stuff is going to mean that we're going to be able to do some of the other cool contracts. Oh, man. I've got to say, guys, you should try that. That's a really fun little mission. I will see you next time. Peace out.